Hey everybody, welcome back to Public Freakout. Our first news of the day, a woman gets into an argument with an employee at a nail salon who called her stupid. You call your customer you stupid? Here, just leave. Because I can ask you, hold on. You You're yelling at me? You're raising your voice at me? You asked me that I want to leave three times? I told you I don't want to leave. I want to get my nails done. I'm trying to explain to you what I want, and you're That's calling me you stupid. You, you call your customers you stupid. Oh wow! Why are you? Right you and then you're still loud, ma'am. Why are you so loud? What's That's wrong? What's call, the problem? I, you I you. never heard you speak so you like that, and I've come here several about. times. You have a very nasty attitude, and it's very unprofessional and for you to be an owner. Okay, I will come back if I want. I just don't want you to do my nails. I'd rather for okay, someone else to do it. Here, Why? Am I, what's the reason I'm not welcome here, man? What did I do? You don't understand what I'm talking about. You don't understand what we're talking about. Because I say you, you, got, you say you keep telling me you got real nail. That's why I say you need to soak your nail. I asked how long. I you already know that I have to soak my nail. I've been doing this for you, years now. I already. It don't matter. I told you it don't matter what time I have to leave. I just don't want my nails to be rushed. I don't want my nails to be rushed. That's all I'm saying. Very. This is very unprofessional. This is Rose Nails and Spa. This next guy takes it upon himself to confront a woman who left her dog in a hot car. Look at that poor kid. His dog is hairy. That dog is hairy. Look at him. And you're leaving a dog in... You're leaving a dog in a car empty. It is heat. You're leaving a dog alone in a car. Stop it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Go on social media. Go on YouTube. You know what? YouTube. Leaving a dog alone in a car. It is heat. I bet you leave a baby in a car too, right? Yeah, it's good. I bet you leave a baby in a car too alone, right? Can you just No. Social media. Social media. Social media. I'm dumb. I'm not the one who leaving a car, a dog in a car alone. Say, are you okay, Papa? Like he's gonna answer you. You know what? This, this guy is crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm a dog lover. An employee at Bellwether kicks this woman out after telling her she's ignorant and she needs to be educated. Um, Barbara called you today. Did you work with Barbara? I have not spoken with Barbara. Okay. I am trying to get a copy of the lien. Yeah. So and I need a, this notarized so that I can get that. So I'm what not, we do is we provide. I do not need company. to be educated because mm -hmm. you told me you're trying to educate me on oh, something which, that you might not be familiar with. Okay. Well, it's not up to you to decide whether I need an education and it's not or up not. To you to decide on how you're going to speak to me. If you're here, right, for a service and we're trying to offer you that service and assist you through that service, it's not up to you to decide how you're going to speak to people. You've I, already decided how you're going to speak to Jen. She was very... That's not going to yes. happen here today. Yes, I, I, I am, I am you definitely... you ignorant. You decided... You to told me that you, want, I need, you needed to educate yes. me because I was uneducated. Did I say she was uneducated? No. You did. You can record me all you want, but you're going to be asked to leave. Here's your license. Would you like me to ask you to leave again or have the cops come? I can leave, but I would like to, and I'm a real manager to call me back and I need this notarized and I need a copy of the lien. The only person who you'll be speaking to is Barbara or Jen, like you were already told. Is Barbara here? No. And when will I get a copy of the lien? When you speak to Barbara Jen. And you're actually not allowed to be mm -hmm. Actually, you just said I was. And I have it on video that you said I was. Allowed to record you? That you, I was allowed to record you. And I'm going to post this on YouTube. This is the kind of people I have to deal with at Bellwether. This woman gets into a particularly nasty confrontation with an employee at Panera Bread after they get mad at her for warming up her food. And I'm sorry, what's your, are you ready to show me that policy that you were speaking of? What was the policy? There's not a written policy. Okay, because I need to see the actual written policy. Well, that's what I'm, that's, yeah, that's what you should go off of. That's what you should well, be trained no off policy. of. You just can't, um, right. Actually, I can. I can heat up anything that I want to heat up, but thank you. Okay, the next time I come in, what I would appreciate is a good morning. That's what I usually okay, get everywhere I go because I'm well-respected everywhere I go. Okay, so that's what I'm just looking for from you. You too. Thank you. 
okay? Get it together, because you won't have a job for long. I don't know where you're from. I'm from Nigeria. I don't know where you're from. You won't have a job for long. I, 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 yeah, you won't. I don't know where you're from. You won't have a job for long. Trust me. Believe that. You won't have it for long. Your ignorance won't get you a job for long. I'm sorry, who are you? Because I'm recording all of this. Who are you? Get your together. That's what I'm saying. Don't be disrespectful. Every customer that comes in here, say hello, good morning, how are you? Call the police. Call, call the police. Because I can go anywhere I want to go. Your ass is ridiculous. I'm going to send this to corporate. You're disrespectful and you're stupid as you can't even show me a policy that you're going off of, supposedly. Like I, I am, actually. I am. I do not like stupid This is okay. stupid. I'm asking you for a policy. Yeah, I mean, you can't even now. show me a policy. So you're speaking from subjectivity. You're not even saying anything that's according to the company's policy. Yeah, thank you. And when they come, I'll talk to them, because I do not like like this. You have a very blessed day. I'm a very righteous woman. And when you treat people like me wrong, trust me, it comes back to you. I help many people. I do not like stuff like this. It will come back to you, trust me. A woman freaks out on these folks because their dog got too close to her. And who are you? Have a great day. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. You just pulled a knife on me. Dog? You just pulled a knife on me. On your dog. Dog approached me. And what did she do? Your dog what did she is do? unleashed. What did she do? It came at us. What did she do? It came at what us. What did she do? Does she bite you or why we are you freaking stop out? The dog. Get the dog out of here. A Walgreens pharmacist gets in trouble with these folks after asking them to present a valid ID for their medication. Look. 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 You cannot go anywhere with the... This is a yes. Yes, you can. All our credit cards. Okay. okay, it's right there. No. You, the ID have to be... Yeah, a star, a star manager. Nobody's... I can give you back though. But you be, are you being racist or what? Is that what you're being? You're being racist because there's our ID? No, I just follow the book. Uh, how are you following the book? If we if we've been getting this medicine filled here for months, well, so you're let me saying tell you Walgreens policy ID mean tribal license passport military. That's it. Nothing this else. This is her her matricula. I don't know what matricula is. I'm really sorry, so I just followed by the book. A lot of people take that ID, but a lot of people they don't they don't take it. You're being racist. That's what you're being. Why could it be? Yeah, well, yeah you're being racist because this is her matricula. I don't win matricula. Warring policy ID to be a tribal license, passport, military ID. That's it. Doesn't no. That's it. That's a military. ID. That's an ID in United in this this regulation. In this country, that's what you're saying. That no. You are you you must be a Trump supporter. Nothing to do yeah. with it. You yeah. can leave my, my pharmacy. Yeah. Your video will be all online. That, that, that's the, the type of person that we're dealing with here at the pharmacy at Walgreens on Day Palm and 30th. This guy becomes frustrated with the McDonald's staff after they won't let him use their bathroom. Manager. I don't. I didn't eat next door. I ate here. I have a receipt. I paid for it. I like to use the bathroom. Three ninety. Three ninety. Three ninety. Can somebody open the bathroom, please? We don't have the key right now. How you mean? Don't have the key? Like I said, the new bathroom. Excuse me. It's not a new. You, know, you act like I just came here. I just came in like a half an hour ago and used that bathroom, and the lady opened it for me. Ooh, okay. What the hell are you yelling for? I'm you yelling because you're lying. That's why. No, you're, getting the record no you you're lying. Door. You're lying. The door's not open. I just tried to open it. It's not open. Then you got the wrong keys. I have the wrong So you're telling me customers that come here can't use the bathroom and pay? It's just not open. I don't know what 
How can I use it if it's closed? Exactly my point. It's not open. Look, don't say nothing else. Serious? I love social media. No name tags no more? This La Quinta Inn employee tries to evict a guest after asking for a couple extra pillows. Look, dude, all I asked for was pillows. All I asked for was pillows. I just asked for pillows. Now you took my bedding away. I have a girl right here that needs to go to sleep. My wife as well would like to go to sleep. I came down and asked for bedding. You're telling me I wait till tomorrow for pillows. And I the told you, bed. there are no pillows here. There are six pillows in the room. Those are on the double beds. Look, take two of them off and put them on but the hide-a-bed couch. But there's sleeping on those beds using them. Put them. There's how many more people in there? Uh, don't worry. How many it's people all accounted are in for. the room? Well, maybe you should look at the computer it's and see. It's only registered for how many? Uh, I remember you should look and see. Go get, I can't. Why not? Because it tells you. The audit is running. Okay, well, it says it in there. It also says it in there. I, I'll find that out when I can get back into it. For now, go get a credit card or you're out of here. You, you know I what? I would love for you to I try and throw it. me out because I don't have a credit card. Read because right here. Wow. Okay. We will not we, go beyond we, that. Right, valid card, you checking? I will not repeat myself again. Okay. Um, here's the thing, bud. I yep. was checked in yep. by the girl's front desk, yep. knowing my situation. Too bad. And it's, now it's too bad? Yes. And you're telling me yes. that I don't get bedding? Then you're going to throw uh -huh. me out. Two pillows is what you want. You've got pillows. I don't you have You just them took here. the bedding from me and told me I don't need this. You want bedding? You'll get bedding when you get a credit card. No. You're out of here. You don't understand. You're going to throw me out. You get your stuff out of the room, get in your car, and go. I'm, but I'm not going to don't just leave because it, you're... Or I call the police and have you removed. You can threaten me. I and when the police get here, when the police get here, they can figure the situation out by two things, and that is, see how you're acting, sir? Yeah, would you? And because of the oh, fact... Oh, they know me. I'm sure they do, You know why? I didn't do anything Because wrong. I have people like you that like don't have a me? credit card and try to buffalo their way through stuff. Buffalo? I asked for pillows and a bag. Oh, now stop it. Buffalo? Yeah. You what don't have a card on file. Go get a card that's valid. I know what it's... And you're... You know what what? Do you know what what? I'm doing the audit. What do you want? The bedding and pillows. and get out of the building. The bed... Go the get your bedding. stuff and get out of the building. I will call the police. Look, no. if the I police show up, look. they'll understand that all I did was ask for bedding no, and then you've taken no. it away. You don't have a card on file. I do, though. I absolutely do. It's no good. You need good a good as far card as what? on file. A good card as far as what? It's active and valid. Some card that has credit on it or money, money in the money. bank. You have to have That's money defined as good. Now go away. Get your stuff and get out of the building. This woman decides to give a rude McDonald's employee a piece of her mind. So basically she sent you to the window so she wanted to deal with me because she's mad because I complained on her from being having an attitude and, and um, out there last night I complained on to the manager so now she's mad at me. She's going to bring you to the window so she wanted to deal with me. She just, first of all, she just slung the window and didn't say good morning, how you doing, and none of that. She got an attitude. I don't know what's wrong with she mad because I complained on her. But she got the right one because I'm going to call and complain on her again because the attitude she has, they shouldn't even have her in the window. She have a bad attitude. She just bitter because I called in on her. But she got the right one today. Yeah, I got up and looked in the bag and made sure everything cool. She just, and then she got mad because I had ordered 50 nuggets and they had to remake them because they was half done. So, yeah, she's mad. She real bitter. What you say? That's me, what? Oh, yeah, that was me. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Every time I come here, now you know God bless me. Now you want to say that because she right here. And she a witness. Yes, you is. Now she want to be. Look, and she arguing with a customer now. That's, that's what y'all do. Look, and you tell the big quiet, she still arguing. That's her problem. That's what they do now. Right. And I got it all on recording. And I'm showing this to your district manager. Hey, you get mad at people and get attitudes and stuff. Yeah, uh-huh. You have a bad attitude. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I got you. You have a bad attitude. You need to quit that. You have a real bad attitude. You do. Yes, you. And I'm going to make sure. Yeah, you can laugh all you want. It's the way she talks to people. That's not right. And I did. Did I get my two barbecues? I said my two um yes, buffalo. Yes, yeah, cause she have a she mad. She, I don't think I asked her. She took one drink out of one, transferred over to the other right in front of me. Okay, I asked her, 
if she can take the drink and just make a fresh one. Instead, she took one off the top off one drink and pulled them up. You're not supposed to do that. That's cross contamination. I work with the Board of Health and stuff like that all day, every day, 24 7 to help for me. She needs to learn her job right. Y'all need to take her back to service safe management course because if she did that in front of somebody and it was important, they would have fired her ass on the spot. That's nasty what she's doing. And I thank you, man, for that. And I like your hair color, baby. You have a nice day and make sure you get attitude together, baby. All right. As always, thanks so much for watching, everybody. That takes us to the end of our journey today. Should have another one up in like two days. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome freakout compilations about twice a week.